Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Sydney Lane with your midday Arkle Miss update. According to authorities, an unknown subject has been calling local citizens and claiming to re represent the Union Parish Sheriff's Office. The union subject states that there is a warrant out for your arrest for failure to appear in court. They further claim if you give them your credit card number or get a green dot money card or similar retail money gift card, they can clear up the matter. The Union Parish Sheriff's Office states this is a scam and they would not ask for financial information over the phone. If you have fallen victim to this scam, please call the Union Parish Sheriff's Office at 318-368-3124. The Ruston Police Department has received multiple complaints of individuals running red lights. In response to these complaints, this week authorities will be increasing the monitoring of red lights and stop signs in the city of Ruston. Officers will be more watchful of drivers' behavior and tickets will be given to those who fail to stop at red lights and stop signs. Running red lights is not only against the law, but also poses a significant danger to both drivers and pedestrians. Therefore, officers urge drivers to obey traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety. And the deadline to register to vote in the November general election is today. Registration in person by mail or at the OMV is today, October 18th. The deadline for new voters who wish to use the GoVote online system is Saturday, October 28th. This deadline also applies to voters who would like to make changes to the registration. You can download the GoVote mobile app for registration information, as well as voting districts, sample ballots, polling place information, and election results. Early voting is November 3rd through November 11th. The two exceptions are Sundays and Veterans Day. St. Jude is gearing up for the 2024 Dream Home Campaign. Two area concrete companies teamed up to lay the groundwork for next year's home. Pokey's Ready Mix and River City Ready Mix poured the foundation yesterday for the home. Both companies joined together to make this a full donation to the Dream Home campaign. Kenneth Lawrence donated all labor for finishing and Jerry Myers Construction donated half labor for forms. Next year's home is being built at 9031 Desired Trace in the Desired Trace subdivision. Happening around Arkansas, Tuesday was the second and final day of the inaugural Human Trafficking Summit happening at Arkansas State Capitol. The event is aimed to educate about human trafficking in the state. Law enforcement, health care leaders, and lawmakers are leading training sessions focused on health and teaching transportation and hospitality industries ways to combat the nationwide issue. This summit comes after Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders' working group looked and identified ways to address human trafficking in the state. I know that together we can prosecute the criminals, we can save the victims, and we can work together to finally end human trafficking here in Arkansas. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Temperatures will continue to warm as we go into this afternoon. Winds will continue to stay mainly out of the south. And we're warming up to the mid and upper 70s, so it was chilly this morning, but you're not going to be eating the jackets at all for this afternoon. And as we go overnight tonight, those clouds will slowly increase out of the north, and we'll see the possibility of a stray shower to early Thursday morning, mainly across areas of southeast Arkansas. But rain tends to sit just at 10%. Don't expect much with it. But we will be sitting under mostly cloudy skies tomorrow and could have an opportunity for a stray shower to across portions of northeast Louisiana, but again, more or less hit or miss and don't expect much with it. As we go into Friday, we'll see that weak frontal boundary push on through and then those winds will be mostly out of the northwest, but we're not going to be cooling down, but we will have dry air start to settle in place and we'll see clear skies to close out the week on Friday. We'll see a day tonight of 79 degrees for this afternoon. Winds will stay out of the south and tonight those clouds will slowly increase, becoming partly cloudy. We'll see a low of about 57 degrees and for tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with the rain chances sitting just right there around 10 percent and as we go into the rest of the forecast into the weekend we'll see partly cloudy skies and the temperatures will stay mainly in the lower to mid 80s and through next week on monday and tuesday we'll still remain under partly cloudy skies and still stay above average in the lower 80s and lows will be mostly in the mid to upper 50s And just another reminder, today is the final day to register to vote for the November election. That's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues.